Now we on number two, coming off of Purdy. It's 510 yards. It's low key tight off the fairway. You know, left we got hazard, and then right, once you hit about 285, 290 area, you got another hazard, so you gotta be precise. Let's see where the wind is. Wind coming in two off the right. I'm gonna still going, I'm gonna see it a little bit lower, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit my face still. That's what I'm liking right now. Two seventeen. One in, two. I'm laying three right now. All I'm trying to do, I'm just trying not to compound the mistakes. So we not, we got to make sure I walk out of here with six at least. Just going through this little gap right here. Little cut. Look this way, pet. Right here through this little gap. Ball in the glove. All right, right now I'm lying three right here. You know, I put it right back in front, which is what I wanted to do while we. Now we just gotta make sure we get this up and down. I might say four. Got a lot of green to work with, that's good. It's gonna be soaking to the left. tucked on the left side of the green so I'm kind of working my ball a little right to left right now. I'm just gonna start at about six hard right. Fade it in there just a little bit. Main thing right now we're trying to keep it low because the wind is up. Now just because I'm going 
going into the wind a little bit. I'm going to sandwich, open it up. I'm going into the wind as well, so that's going to help give me some spin and whatnot. Let's see how we go. I'm going to keep a little left. Water down there about 290-ish, 280-ish. I don't know, we need a little downwind, so I'm just taking a forearm, put it in place. Get back, get back. I'm just gonna do a little draw, just a low, punchy shot. We're gonna go about five yards inside that flag, to the right of the flag. Let's get again with folks, just keeping it low. All right, right here we got about 144 left. The wind is a little into it, it's kind of playing with me a bit. So I'm, I'm gonna play it as a little into coming off my left. And I'm gonna play it at about 153. So I'm punching a little eight. I'm going dead at it because I know as far as me trying to flight it low, I'm gonna hit a little draw. So if anything, this should finish about five yards to the right of that flag. That first tree to the right of that flag. So as you can see, we ended up pin high. That's quite a bit, you know, with an eight iron and a short iron in your hand, you're trying to get closer than that. That's about 35, 40 feet. I should be inside 15 feet for sure, but still got to play that bird. in from afar. Every time you got these type of push, you can't really give up too much of the hole. Right center is just a firm little stroke. Alright, number five right here. 450, we got the wind coming off the right. It's pretty much downwind right now. Just like on the last I was into, right? I'm going to go ahead and play my little butterfly right here. We got 132 to the flag. Yet again, once you get in trouble, the main objective is to get it back in position. So I got 132 to the flag, 111 to the front. Pretty much going down, straight down again. So I think it's pretty much going to be about 120. Like I, I'd rather it land a little short and end up rolling than just pull out flying the green side. Like I said, you know, it was a lot of wind coming off my back. It landed about pin high and just rolled out. It didn't have any spin on it, but all in all, we, we're pretty happy with that. We still got a chance for Burke. I think it's number six. This is a big boy job. You know, I've been playing the weak fade, but on this one, it's wide open. I'm, I'm swinging at it. We going about... 
four yards inside that left lip of that bunker. And I'm just swinging. Nice strong swing. No reason to swing hard. Just hold on a bit. Yes, sir. 72 yards straight down wind right here. It's definitely going to hit and probably do a hit and skip. Stop, something like that, so we gotta definitely play for that. It's about a club and win. I'm gonna go ahead and try to fly this about 62. That's what I'm playing for, 62. Right here, number seven. Get close to back. So on number seven, we got water to the right. I'm a left-handed player. We got the wind coming into, straight into. Nothing to really worry about right there, but we're gonna see the ball a little bit lower. So we're trying to keep it low through the wind. But I want you to notice how I'm teeing up on the right side of the car, uh, of the tee box. Because all my trouble as a left-handed player is to my right. So I'm trying to move that out of the picture. And basically where I'm aiming, I'm aiming about for the people that's watching this on video, about six yards left of that tower. Show them that tower, right? That big tower. And then I'm, I'm really just trying to hit a straight ball, just like on the last hole. The only thing I'm doing different right now is keying it a little bit lower. So, got about 130 left. Yet again, another, you know, you really don't know how these gonna come out, but 130 for this win is about a two club length. So, 130, 140. I'm going ahead and play this about 150, pretty much. I'm gonna take the eight. When I hit an eight on full, about 160, but it's gonna be like a little punch coming out of here. I might even open the blade just a little bit, help me get through the grass a little bit. It's a little punch. I'm gonna make sure to keep this ball a little left of the target for no reason. This, mid, this, this middle of the game. Right, right, right. This middle of the game. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. It might work out. On that shot right there, there's not much we could do. That ball landed on the front of the green on that hill and it rolled off all the way back here. So in that type of situation, you just gotta make sure you keep your cool on the course. Like, don't allow that to throw off your whole golf game. You know, make sure you keep your cool. And know that you gotta focus on this next shot. We gotta get this up and down for par. We still in it. So right here, there's really not no little, nothing to play with. We gotta go over this ridge, just a little downhill, then it's going back uphill. Got a lot of green to work with though, so that's good. Cut. Seven. And I'm aiming at that heel to the left of that flag, if you can see that, that right there. And yet again, like all day, I've been trying to control the trajectory. I've been doing that very good. So 
get again here, we're gonna keep this ball low. Nice low control shot. Six, seven feet to the right of the flag. Very nice execution. All in all, not bad at all. I thought it was a little bit closer, but we cool right here about 20 feet from 171. Not bad. Alright, so hole number nine right here. I don't know how far it is, but I should be able to get there into no problem. Uh, straight down wind. On this one, this is another one of those holes where the fairway is so wide, I'm really just setting up and I'm making a nice confident swing to it. But as far as target line, I'm aiming at the right edge of the uh, bunker right there, if you can see that, Pat. But, nice confident swing. It's no reason on part fives to try to swing harder to make the ball go further. You want to make sure you hit it solid. If you hit it solid, it's gonna do the rest for you. Yeah, perfect. You got everything set up on that one. That's the that's the set. All right, so we got 184 straight down wind. We're going over a bunker to part five. Um, 167 to clear the bunker. What's up, bro? It's my man Greg. I'm going in here seven iron just because it's straight down wind. Yeah, as long as I clear that bunker, I'm fine. So on this one, I'm aiming about four yards left of this flag because I know my ball gonna work right. You can hit your cut on this one if you want to. A lot of amateurs, the problem with when they get to the green and two, they just try to kill the eagle putt. Like, why are you trying to hit it harder to make the ball go? And you still want to make the same put. I'm still trying to make the lowest score possible. There's no reason to try to ram it. Finish that nine, we even par. You know, this is mediocre golf. We can definitely turn up on the back side. It's just by staying here in the present. We're not worried about nothing else. Just staying focused. You know, try to hit the fairway first, the green next, make the putt good. Go. Yes, sir. So we getting uh, ready to wrap up the round. Uh, my brother Pac left. Shout out to him for helping me with the camera today. Uh, last thing I want to tell y'all, man, I just want to tell y'all, you know, whatever you're working on, whether it be golf, football, basketball, whatever, you know, you just got to keep doing it, man. You got to keep grinding. And, you know, sometimes it's easy to get down on yourself, especially when things aren't going the way that you might like. You know, but the main thing is you got to stick to whatever goal you got.